Hello and welcome friends. <coughs> this time we are going to study a special case in linear correlation and that is the case of core study of correlation between age and literacy. Now there are two factors or two variables age and literacy in this case. As we know age itself is a statistical phenomena. Age can be expressed through statistics only. But literacy is actually a qualitative term. Literacy has its meaning. What is the meaning of literacy? Literacy means the proportion or say percentage of literates in the total population. That means how much proportion of the population is literate. That is called literacy. But to calculate the correlation between age and literacy, we should have some statistical measure of literacy. By definition, it is possible to have the statistical measure of literacy. What do we mean by literacy statistically? If we pick up the term proportion, that can also be expressed as percentage. So here literacy will be the percentage of literate people to the total population. The formula becomes very easy. Literacy in terms of percentage of population equals to number of literate people divided by population and whole multiplied by 100. A very easy calculation. For example, for the age group of 10 to 20, the number of literates given to be 100 and the population is 120. So the percentage comes to 83.33. To make the calculations easy, we round off it to 83%. Let us take one more case. For the age group of 20 to 30, literacy will be number of literates 75 divided by total population 100 and to get the percentage we have to multiply it by also 100 so the percentage comes to 75 in this way through this formula or by substituting the statistics of literates or rather number of literates and population into this formula we can easily calculate the term literacy or percentage of literates to the total population for all the age groups thus now we have two statistical variables one is age but a very small problem is here with the age group the age has been expressed in terms of class intervals population of 10 to 20 years to calculate the coefficient of correlation we cannot use the class intervals directly so again we have to smoothen it and that will be if we make this smooth what is the technique nothing just take mid value of age 10 to 20 the mid value is 15 so 15 represents the whole class of 10 to 20 similarly mid value of 20 to 30 will be 25 25 represents the whole class of 20 to 30 and so on for all the seven classes thus now we have two variables First is age, that is mid value of class intervals of age, that will be X and literacy, that is percentage of literate people to the total population. So now we can study the correlation between age and literacy. Now the thing is uh, same as we had discussed in the earlier cases, since the numbers are somewhat large, we it is advisable to use the formula with deviations instead of using the statistics directly so first according to my suggestion we have to calculate mean mean of x comes to 45 since the mean is integer we take itself as assumed mean a that will give us u by changing by rather by changing the x into u with the help of the characteristic of coefficient of correlation what is that specific or special characteristic coefficient of correlation is independent of change of origin and scale so we are going to change the origin and scale of the original variable x and convert 
we will convert it into new variable u. But there will be no effect on the coefficient of correlation. So x minus 45, subtracting 45 is change of origin and dividing by 10 is change of scale. Why are we dividing it by 10? See the common interval is 10. So class interval can be taken as the factor for change of scale. Thus a new variable u is there. The mean of y is 82.86 and according to my suggestion always take the assumed mean which is less than the actual mean or arithmetic mean. So we are going to take 82 instead of the nearest integer value 83. That will give us the positive total of the variable v. y minus 82. Since there is no common difference between the two values or all the values, we cannot change the scale. So we will change only the origin of variable y to get the new variable v. Thus we have u and v. Since u, uh, sorry, since for determining u, we have used arithmetic mean itself as the assumed mean. The total will be 0 because the total of deviations taken from mean is always 0. But in case of v, the summation will be non-zero. And since we have taken the assumed mean as less than the arithmetic mean, the total will be positive. Difference between arithmetic mean and assumed mean is 0 0.86, 0 0.86 into n. That will give us the approximation of this total. So this total 6 is correct. Since these two totals are correct, we can prepare the other columns. uv is nothing but the multiplication of u and v minus 3 into 1, minus 2 into minus 7, minus 1 into minus 7 and so on. The total is 40. u square, that means squared values of u summation comes to 28 and v square is okay, squared value of all the values of variable v. The summation comes to 976. So ultimately we have all five required summations uv, uv, u square and v square. So we can use the formula, rather my favorite formula and calculate coefficient of correlation between u and v and sigma uv minus sigma u into sigma v upon under root n sigma u square minus sigma u the whole square into under root and sigma v square minus sigma v the whole square. Now let us substitute the values. n is 7, sigma uv is 40, sigma u is 0, sigma v is 6. 7, n is 7, sigma u square that is 28 minus 0 square that will be 0 only. Again n7 sigma v square is 976 minus seven, sorry 6 square because sigma v is 6 the whole square. It comes to 280 minus 0 into under root 28 into 7. What will be the value of 28 into 7? 56 plus 140 so it is 196 minus 0 into under root. 7 into 976 gives us 6832 minus 36. So ultimately it is 280 divided by under root 196 into under root 6796. So simplification gives us 280 divided by 1154.13 So ultimately the coefficient of correlation between x and y is exactly equal to the coefficient of correlation between u and v so the final answer comes to 0 0.2426 or you can write 243 but the important thing is meaning of literacy because originally literacy is not a statistical or quantitative term, it is a qualitative term. But on the basis of the statistical data available, we can have the statistical variable named literacy through this formula. That's all. Thank you very much.